Look at that. You can't tell. You can't tell, bro. You, like that, you can't tell. You look like old boy that was swole. Wait, wait, wait. Be honest. You can't tell. I've been practicing this shit. Like. Now you just look stupid. No, that, this is how we walk in the club. You walk in the club like that. That's crazy. What's up, dog? What's up, man? Hey, hey brother. Man. Oh, that's why you late. You just came from the barbershop. Oh, no. I was already at the barbershop this morning. <laughs> 10 o'clock. You got fresh hey. on. Hold up. Limitless. Take a semi cap pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, get me up. On the mission, get me up. Knowing me, I got the key. On the vision, I can trust. Trust. Limitless. Take a semi cap pin in it. I thought they here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, get me up. On the mission, get me up. Lil Duval. What's up, man? Right, rolling. What's up? You know what I'm saying? This one, man, people know he know me for We got Channing. <laughs> Roman. <laughs> Freddie, I just <laughs> said it real, man. Real, man. Fred, Freddie T. He's doing hey, man. research. He's welcome, the welcome to the pivot, though, man. Uh, to our partners, happy dad. We appreciate you guys. Everybody that subscribes to the show, that continues to support and show love. We're so grateful for all that you do. This show already started the wrong way. He walked in here limping, <laughs> and then he was like, I ain't limping. Then he gave us the club walk. But on the real though, man, and just not to be funny about it though, how are you feeling, you know, after what happened, you I know, this feel summer? Blessed. Muhammad? I feel like a miracle for real. Cause I mean, shit, five months ago, I was fucked up, man. I was laying on the ground in the islands, waiting on the ambulance to come, waiting on the, the guy that run the ambulance to get off work so he can get the ambulance to come get. <laughs> so you had, you had to call him from your phone or somebody was Somebody was there. The, the, the lady that hit me, she and the, well, she went and got my old lady. My old lady went and got my housekeeper. And that's how all that shit happened. I was chilling. I was laying on that ground for about two hours waiting. You know, that's I'm why not. I got on my phone. People keep asking, like, why you was on Instagram? It wasn't shit else to do. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but no, for the, the, the mind, your mindset, though, you like, shit. I didn't got hit by a car. I got two hours. I'm gonna hop on IG. Is that just just the natural no. nature of always entertaining? No, nah, it was just one of them things. You just sitting there for a second, and two hours a long time, bro. Like yeah. it's a long time. So you just sitting there. I didn't realize it was two hours. I was just sitting there, and over time, I was just like, ain't nobody gonna believe this shit. Cause even when I called Charlemagne, he didn't believe me. Cause I I told him to call Ludacris. Cause Ludacris is one of the only people that kind of know the Bahamas outside of Nassau like that, that I know. And I was like, call Ludacris, I know he got his plane too. So I was like, shit, let me hit him up. But he thought I was bullshitting. Charlamagne thought I was bullshitting. <laughs> Ain't nobody believed me until I got on Instagram. Well, who gonna believe a comedian? I guess that. I ain't never played like that. <laughs> that I ain't ever played like that. But the crazy thing, you, you mentioned Nassau. So you, when you go to the island, right? They on their own time. Yeah. Like Nassau on their own time and they 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 super slow, but they gonna take care of you and cater, but uh -huh. they super slow. But then there are other parts, the sister islands in, in Bahamas. Yeah. I ain't gonna get your duck off. Yeah, 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 talk yeah. About. But imagine them being that much more slower. You know what I'm saying? So I can imagine. It's like it's like being on naked and afraid when you fed up. Like it's <laughs> nothing, like you ain't got no phones like that. You ain't got you ain't, your Wi-Fi go in and out. Like it's beautiful, but it's like being really like secluded. Right. If you ain't used to that lifestyle, it ain't like you ain't gonna like it over there like that. It's some secluded places where you could be safe. God it's damn. safe there too. It's it just, ain't safe. No, you that, gotta lay on the ground for two no, hours. That shit hurt. that was just out of the norm. Like I don't even know. Like cause the road that I, we live, I live on, it's it's empty most of the day. Even when I got hit, ain't no other cars happen, hit. I mean, drive by. It was just us two. She just so happened to be behind me, and they can't drive over there worth shit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> she just so happened to be behind me, and when I went to turn, she timing. She came around and hit me, and I went to flying. Hey, um, RC mentioned your government rolling. Let's go there for a second, right? Because people don't really understand. Uh, that Jacksonville is a diamond in the rough. Yeah. And Jacksonville is actually beautiful. Got the beaches, it's the largest city, you know, in the country, per last land mass. A lot yeah. of people don't know that. And I know, look, whatever. Bro. Land mass. Yeah, the biggest city the biggest in the country. The biggest city in the country. Land yeah. mass. Why y'all find stuff to brag about? Hey, a win is the a win. The biggest land oh, well, mass is a win, city. Here, bro. Tell me, but no, seriously <laughs> though, so going back to the day, rolling days, before yeah. Lil, du Lil Duval, um, came to fruition. How was it, what was it like growing up in Jacksonville? Honestly, the best way I explain me growing up in Jacksonville, I was kind of like uh, Smokey off of, off of Friday. 
like I grew up in the hood and the streets, ghetto as hell, but in my mind, that's how I looked at the hood. I didn't see all the bad and all the up shit about it until I got out and moved to Atlanta. Because in my mind, Atlanta, everybody was rich and selling dope and rich. So once I realized and understood where I came from, that's what, but to me, it wasn't bad to me. It was just life. Like, I don't, that, I never understood when people be like, man, I grew up, I didn't know we was po. Everybody was po. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't seem like nothing to me, but, but I always knew that I grew up in that type of situation for, so I can understand it to help that, to help people that come up from that situation, especially from Jacksonville, because now y'all know about Duval and all that, but ain't nobody outside of Florida, ain't nobody know about, about Duval or Jacksonville or nothing. So I just felt like it was on me to put it on the map, you know what I'm saying? Try to take it farther outside the world. I, I love seeing everybody screaming it and yeah. it's dope to me. And I got some inside, inside track. They said in high school, you was wearing thongs at talent shows. Man, who told you that shit? <laughs> they said you were grinding the ground with, no, a, with, a, with was, an elephant helmet on. No, I was a dick slinger. That's what we called it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody in Florida used to dance. If you couldn't, if you didn't dance, you couldn't dance. You yeah, know what right. I'm saying? Or you was an athlete. You know what I'm saying? I was a, I was a dancer, and I used to dance my ass off. And one of the shits we used to do slang dick, and bitches used to love the shit. You know, that's all. <laughs> what slang dick in the thong? No, I wasn't no. Thong, where the thong come in? <laughs> it was like, it was bikinis. No, I was in swimming trunks. We had silk swimming trunks, I think. I we think was the ass out. It was a group, like we had a, man, what? No, my ass what now, man? What the f they, it was at the range. I gotta watch you, man, because I already know what type of time you on, man. Nah, it was my ass what not. <laughs> <laughs> the ass what not. Oh, okay. <laughs> you was you was running with Lil Mike. Uh-huh. Yep, your partner who introduced yeah. you to the streets and then Rest in Lil, peace, Lil, Lil Mike. Lil, rest in peace, Lil Mike. And then Lil Hen. Yeah, that's my boy, Lil Hen. Everybody Hen. knows if you follow Duval, you know Lil Hen. And uh, uh Hen is the one that he get the story from. That oh man, Hen told you that <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's that's where the story comes that's from. But uh um, <laughs> That's Hen. my that's my um sandbox. Man, me and him came up together. He was, we, him was one of the, we thought, we, me and my other homeboy, Lil Mike, we always thought like, stay away from him because he gonna die. Something gonna happen. He, he just was wild. But he made, out of everybody, my best friend died and he ended up living. So life funny, man, life, life happened like that. So. You know, you mentioned like life being funny and saying, I don't really look at it or I didn't think I was poor mm -hmm. at the time. And now looking back at Jacksonville and growing up, and being able to represent that though with the name Lil Duval. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be honest, until probably Jalen screamed it when they were headed to the AFC Championship, mm -hmm. I didn't even, I never even equated those yeah, two things. And like you did. said, now you hear, you hear it all the time. What type of pride do you take in that, bro? I take so much pride because it's like, I am Duval and Duval is me. So when I see that, and that was the whole point why I changed my name to Duval. Because when I used to be in Florida all the time, we did the classic weekend and all mm -hmm. that shit there. And they used to always like, Lil Duval, Lil Duval. So it, it clicked in me. I was like, shit, I represent Duval. I might would let the world know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I always knew, like, I understand, like, psychologically how it opens doors. Like, when I say Duval, when somebody say they're from Duval now, it breaks that barrier down to where now you listen to what they got to say. Simple as simple as that. Where before, if you say you're from Jacksonville, there ain't nobody really was paying no yeah. attention to it now. So it opened doors, and even with the Jaguars doing good, and that shit makes the city better. You know what I'm saying? It brings a lot of revenue. Like I watched LeBron James when he was in Cleveland. It was lit, yeah. and he left. And then I went and did a show in Cleveland and when he was gone. It was dry as f <laughs> <laughs> Then when he came back, it was lit again. Right. So that let me know, like, shit, if the team win, the city win. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I mean, and especially in Jacksonville, the only two things bring people in Jacksonville together is the Jaguars and me. Other than that, the white people don't really f each other like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so it's something like that's bringing us all together as one shit is great. And it's, yeah. it's making Jacksonville big. But I, I think the team is also doing a pretty good job of, you know, uh, getting their influencers yeah. out in front of everybody. Because yeah. Jacksonville is is extremely talented. There's so many rappers, yep. you know, artists, you know, athletes, yep. you know, players that are in the NFL. But what the, the team is doing, they have a influencer suite, mm -hmm. you know, that invite the, the guys back, the, 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 the influencers back, celebrities back. And uh, they just, you know, they just present them. 
to the world on their social media, this, that, the other. And I think they should have been doing that for a while. Well, now they got somebody in there that know what they're doing, so it's working, you know, yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, everything's coming in and play just like it's supposed to. You're the most famous dude from Jacksonville, ain't it? Besides, um, Sweet Home Alabama. See, they, but they don't know about that. Who is that? What's Leonard Skinner? Yeah. Oh, okay. Limp I'm coming to you. Limp Biscuit. Limp mm -hmm. Biscuit from? Fred Durst. He's from the beach. The okay. Yeah. About the beach. But I'm probably the only inner city, the biggest inner city, like. Bigger, biggest, or most, most like famous. most most successful? I don't want to say success because well, success big, is relative. Well, I'm like, just saying big big is not relative. And you are not. <laughs> yeah, you ain't that big neither, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, you hey. regular as hell. Man. You regular size. You ain't football player size. <laughs> bro, so that, but, he, he, yeah, he probably wore his helmet to the club to let people know he was. <laughs> he know how to play football. Bro. I, I wore his jersey. <laughs> but, but, but you, but you talk to that point. You talk mad shit. I don't. I'm yes, you do. I don't think. You know when I, I didn't realize how much people thought it was shit talking until I got on social media. Because mm. in Florida, this all we do. Yeah. We just, but it's normal, but it don't, we don't take it like that. I didn't realize I started getting on Twitter and I say, shut your ass up. Why did he say that? I'm like, what the f Like, I didn't, I don't, I don't talk, I don't think I'm disrespectful. I just talk shit. But That's, you, you weigh about 103. Yeah. What, how, why you talk shit at 103? You gonna get yourself in trouble. Now they invented this thing called guns. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> to even the playing field out. No, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Okay. But, but, no, but with comedy too now, you know no, what I'm saying? No, people, I, get, I, people get sensitive. I don't, I only deal with it on social media. I don't deal with it in person because in person you see me. So it kind of takes, a, I guess it takes away from it, I guess. Like you're not, you don't see me as a threat in person. So whatever I say, it's not, it don't come off as harsh, I guess, as if you home by yourself and I say, I say, bitches ain't shit, and then you, and your called you a bitch. Now you take it personal for me. You know what I'm saying? So I guess <laughs> it's it's different online. But it's like it's like you though. Like you ask people things on this show, and because they know you're funny, they take it differently, right? Yeah. Like they accept it. And it's like, ha ha, oh, he just joking. Like that's what Chan does, or that's what little Duval does. But does it for you, is there ever a line? Or what is the line you try to not cross? I never try to hurt nobody's feelings, honestly, believe it or not. It just comes, I don't realize people offended until, until they get offended. That's why I don't really, that's why I really don't do podcasts like that. They, I've been having people want me to do podcasts for years. It's just, I don't, I feel like the more you talk, the more easy it is to offend. Y'all do this a right. bunch of times, I'm pretty sure they ain't got offended. But I'm good at not giving a you know what I'm saying? Because I understand that Ooh. when I say it, it's nothing personal. You get what I'm saying? I'm not, or if I, and once I call them, most of the time they just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like they just want to, you're like, come on, bro. Like I, even people that I know in the industry, they might get mad at something I call and they're like, is you really mad for real? Like, you know me, like, and they like, no. Nah. But it's other people pointing the finger. It's like being in the classroom and everybody like, ooh. Mm -hmm. It's the crowd and the comments y'all can't take. See, but that, that's why the room can get cut off this way. And that might be why that cable right here, because <laughs> he, he does not care. That boy go viral almost I don't want to say I don't care, because I do care. I just don't take, I, I don't take it. Not yeah, he cares. No. Yeah, you, I but, care, you care about the brand, you care about what you're building, but yeah. to care about what another human that I really don't give a damn about yeah, yeah, says yeah. about me, I, who, I, I, I don't care about Johnny down on the fourth floor. I, I do care, care about, about the next generation though. Like I care that if they get it right, you know what I'm saying? It's mm. like being a teacher, like yeah. that's what I had to learn over time. Like sometimes if you're trying to give it to them, like I might be trying to tell them something, mm -hmm. but it's the way I'm saying it. So I have to say it a certain type of way if I care about them. Yeah. But if I don't care, like if it's social media or some shit like that there, I'm never going to care about it. I've never got offended by it. I've never got mad. You've never seen me bold on social media. Because I don't, like, I will care if it's like, like if he got offended by me, I'll call him or something. Right. But right. if you got offended, I ain't never talked to you before. So it's like, I don't right. give a, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So You do lead with that, uh, on, even on your uh, platform. You know, it's not just all funny or posting random things. Yeah. You actually do try to speak to the people and say, yeah. look, remember I told y'all this five years ago yeah. when I did this? Yeah. Like I try to show through actions. Like, cause I it's learned, a gift. I learned people don't listen, they follow. So I try to just, in social media, you can, that's the perfect place to follow. So I just give them stuff and show them over time. You might not get it at that time, but then 10 years down the line, you're like, you know what? 
Duval was right. You know, as I do, they get it. Cause they, most times, especially at that on social media, it's younger people. So they ain't really been through shit. Right. So they still going by what they think life is. You know what I'm saying? So, so they don't get it until they get into life, you know? And that's what comedy is. Comedy, you have to really, you have to really go through life to feel it. You know what I'm saying? That's why most comedians don't like doing colleges cause they ain't been through shit. So there's only so much they gonna go through besides pop culture. But when you get go through life, when you get to comedy clubs, these motherfuckers been through shit. They got their wife right here. They done been through shit. So you talking about shit that they done been through, so they feel it more. You did have something uh, out here mm -hmm. with uh, Rolanda. As... My gay ass sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How explain that relationship and and why every time like the reason why I did that podcast to show how we can have two different views, but still still understand each and still love each other right you know that was the whole point of that whole thing so even with that that should show like i don't have to agree with you to love you i don't have to agree with you like it's like football i don't have to agree with this team his team your team but i can still f with y'all you know right. what i'm saying it's just even at that time and now it's like you don't like me i don't like you we hate each other mm. i've never been like that you know what i'm saying but People like that, so I can't fall in. And with my sister, that's what I was showing with that. I was showing like she, she have her views, I have my views. We still cool. I'm the only one. I'm the first person she told she was gay. I'm the first. I'm the one that went to her wedding. You see what I'm saying? So that shows something. You know what I'm saying? So even though I don't use that as no excuse or nothing, it just is what it is. But shit, that's why I did that with my sister to understand that. But it's it is what it is with with that part. Of it. But once I understood what it was, I just said that shit and just said, you can have that podcast shit with that. Y'all do that, y'all didn't get it from that, fuck it. I guess that's why I brought it up though. Like, bring you, it back? Cause you know what, no, cause you talked about living your life and you said it's not, not necessarily like people won't listen, but they'll follow. And they're listening to your words on one show, mm -hmm. but not looking at your life. Those are the people I don't care about. Yeah. Because I'm not, I can't change, none of us can change the whole world. I'm focused on the people that, that I'm focused on, you know, or that focused on on following me. Everybody else, if they get it, cool. If they don't, who gives a f <laughs> <laughs> Like, what am I gonna do? Like, what can you really do? Like, why stress yourself? I almost died. Right. I ain't try, I ain't trip off nothing. I showed y'all. That's another reason why I did it. It used me as a testimony to show y'all I can go through all this shit. Cause people, some people thought, oh yeah, he talked all that shit. Now he hurt. I still was doing me. Yeah. Because I am me. It, that didn't stop me. I kept doing all this shit there. When I first had it, they told me what I was going to have to go through. They was telling me, like, you got to treat this shit like a, like a football injury and get back out there. And, and they ain't think I could do it. Did it. it, it I, don't, I don't let shit bother me like that. I, I understand the bigger picture. And I understand what I got. A, I, got a bigger, I got a bigger plan. I mean, I got a bigger goal to change other people's lives. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than me. And did that change you? Because it seems like that the, the injury affected you in a, I'll say a positive way. No, it just gave me reassurance. Because it made me understand. I don't think I could have made it if I didn't have the mindset I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't go through something like this because if and, and don't have a, a strong sense of self and God, or you a buckle. You know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're, you see a lot of people go through this. People that had the same as the femur, the wrist, the, all this shit was fucked up. And they still, it's people that tell me they going through it, been in it for two years and still learning how to walk. I got back walking in two months. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and that was with no arms. I ain't had no arms for, I just, this arm don't still don't go all the way up. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's just a mindset. You gotta have your mind for everything in life. That's you still all got, shit is. You still got that football player hip you was talking about? Cause what's, you what's, said it, you said it was too heavy for your body. Oh no! Nah, it's still it's I'm I'm getting my muscles up. That's why I'm working out. Like I'm I I wasn't even a workout. Now now I'm working out. I couldn't even touch my toes before. Now I can touch my toes now. So it's really maybe God did this for me to get my ass in the gym and work out so I can live a little longer to, to talk shit. <laughs> Dude, I was talking about the, the the rehab and the training. Mm -hmm. You made you put everything on social media. It's all open. Mm -hmm. In real time. Who is your rehab coordinator? Cause you was walking over solo cups. I know shout they have. Out, they nah, cones, shout out to my, my, bro, my they got cones, therapy. they got something. You you walking over solo cups. Shout out to my physical therapist, Lisa over there, the with the Emery. She 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 really um it, it looked like and the crazy part of the shit be looking so simple, but that shit be making so much a difference. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like even like doing like I gotta do this here, just something like that. 
that shit make a difference. And that's even walking over them cups. I couldn't even do it at one time. Yeah. Shit, I couldn't even, I, I'm just getting able to go under my arm now. You know what I'm saying? But all them little ass exercises and people like EJ and all of them told me, like they always like, you, even when you feel like you're good, you gotta keep doing it. And that's what I've been doing, you know? Shout out to EJ too, because if it wasn't for him, he the really the reason, because when I got online, <laughs> He the one that called me like, man, you need to get out of the Bahamas, bro, and bring your ass to Florida. Right. Go to Jack. Shout out to Jackson Memorial. He was like, I got. He's like, the doctors over there are good. He's like, he's like, you can go to Jacksonville, but he's like, I know these doctors over here. So I went over there and they took care of me. That's something, man. You, but you, that that the, the rehab is always the hardest, the most discouraging. But you're always positive. So I want to ask you really a twofold because you did make a song about mm -hmm. the injury, mm -hmm. but that positivity and that mindset. Uh, I see how much you 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 talk about your mom too mm -hmm. on your, uh, Instagram. Is that where all of that began? I think it began from my village, everything around me. I mean, it's my parents, of course, but they instilled it, but everything around me. And that's what all we are, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I do everything for Jacksonville, because it's, it's to build that same village, to build it back. So. You, you seem, well now, obviously, extremely confident. Like, you know who you are, you're confident. I mean, you was in Thorns. I mean, I'm 45, bro. Yeah, I'm, I mean, but- I've been famous for a long, long time. Even on a little scale, I've, I've never not been cool. So this, I'm used to this shit. <laughs> this shit is new to y'all. Like, I'm, I've been popping. Oh, well, excuse me, well, I'm just saying, though, you had your thongs on, on the stage you know, and all that. You that thong at a young, At a young age. Find the footage. <laughs> it's 2023, but, you can find some footage. Like, I- Channing is extremely funny, and, and Channing's moving into doing more things with comedy. I'm not funny like that. Mm -hmm. You are just naturally funny. You walked in here, it wasn't about having a set together, it was just who you were. Uh -huh. But when you do start out, and you with Cedric the Entertainer, and it's BET coming to the stage, and all of those things, how do you put your sets together that, has, that, that, that makes you comfortable enough that I'm gonna get out here, and what I have to say to these people is gonna resonate, and they're gonna laugh. Well, my set is pretty different because my set, I, I'm trying to evolve comedy into where I see it is. So, like, I don't just do stand-up. I do stand-up music, comedy, everything. It's, it's more so like the the Rat Pack era or Sammy Davis Jr. Like, I, back in the day, everybody did more than one thing. They did everything on stage. So that's what I'm bringing it back to. So my, my stand-up show is a little different. That's what it's evolved into. And that's what it's always been from day one. It's been kind of hip-hop and comedy all in one. It's, and that's who I am. What you see on stage or what you, it's just another reflection of me. Okay. Even sitting here is a reflection of me. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do is a reflection of me. That's why I can relate to every other man because, shit, I, I've done pretty much relate to every other man and done, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much just a reflection, I guess. And what, what makes you the, the happiest? Not the checks. Not the, you know, the money, the money make everybody. Shit like, like what he was saying earlier, watching, seeing how everybody's saying Duval now. You know what I'm saying? Seeing how I've made my impression on life and seeing how I can see people that, even people that don't like me saying shit that I said, that I made up. You know what I'm saying? Like if I, or something like basic bitch, now it's just in common word. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like, psychologically, I'm instilled in all y'all DNA and y'all don't even realize it because I've been finessing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's been finessing for the betterment of people, not just for me, because I don't get nothing out of y'all get more out of it than I do. You see what I'm saying? So it's really just to instill, instill what I got in me into everybody else. And, mm. and you talk about that really everybody know you, but not everybody loves you. You, you got to have some dudes out even there. Even the people that don't yours. like me, they don't like me. Even if you don't like me, it's because probably because I didn't show you the love that you wanted. Or some shit yeah. like that there. Yeah. Or oh, even the other comedians that you say, you would say doing it the old way or the normal way. I didn't say that was a bad way. I'm just saying oh, it's God. like it's like music or anything, it evolves. It's like football, it evolved into the sport that it is now. It didn't start like that. And that's what comedy doing, it evolves into, it's like now you say he's funny, now he's a comedian. Back in the day, they would have shitted on him for saying he's a comedian, but now he's evolved to where he can do that now. He can get out there and do a, a comedy or act or something to where, because at the end of the day, people just want to laugh. As long as you're making people laugh, is if you want to call it stand-up comedian, you can call it that, but that's where the people are evolving to, to what, like, I came up on Def Comedy Jam. That's what we thought stand-up yeah. was. Now these kids come up on Wild and Out. That's what they, that's what's teaching them what comedy is now. So comedy ain't what we think it is now. You know what I'm saying? For us, 
when we were at the comic club, but the next generation, they they own what they see now. So you have to evolve with that or you're gonna get left behind just like the one that's complaining. Being multi-talented, you know, uh, the singing, comedy. What's the most challenging? And, or what's, what's also the most rewarding? Comedy All of music? it is because it's all rewarding because I understand, like we were saying earlier, you understand that you, everybody digests things different. You know what I'm saying? Some people might get what I'm trying to say in comedy. Some people might get what I'm trying to say in social media. Some of you might get what I'm trying to say in music. As long as it get to you, you know, the message or whatever, I'm, the, the, the energy, you know what I'm saying? As long as it get to you. So I like it all kinds of ways. So neither, if you had to divide them up, split them up, does it either one bring you more joy than the other or? It's all the timing. Like it's at an error. You know how some days you might want to jet ski the next day you might want to, you might want a boat or a fish. It's just like that with me. Like, like this, I'm a Gemini. One man, I might be like, shit, I'm finna make the greatest song of all time. And they say, all right, I'm gonna do stand up now. I want to talk about some shit. The next day I might say, all right, I want to get in the movies. You know what I'm saying? But I've been doing it so long, I can do all of them now. Cause I've, I've got my $10,000. Like with that, even with having, uh, and you're a pilot too, or a co-pilot. Oh, you got yeah, your own yeah, plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got I your got, own plane and you fly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still getting my license. I just been living life and getting hit by cars and shit. I can't get when to you, it. When yet, you but. do try to fly or assist the, the pilot, do you have to use like a, a pillow? Like <laughs> yeah, a, actually, yeah, shit. I need a pillow for, because like one of my planes, the dash up here. So you can't really <laughs> see that much. But you really don't need to see. You need to see the instrument panels more than you uh. need to see see that shit. But I don't. I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really need no no pad like that. Cause like I said, you got the instrument panels, and that matters more than what's outside of that. Rich broke, mm -hmm. your company lifestyle. You just your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But it's no broke to your lifestyle. You just said one of my. Nah, it's rich broke. Is is what rich broke really means is living in your means. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I might not be as rich as you, but shit, I'm rich enough to take care of where I don't need you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's all Rich Broke is. It's like, I can do enough to where I can take care of me and mine and leave something for everybody else that, that I love. That's I what Rich Broke is. Stuff is left up to interpretation. Whatever mm -hmm. you say in the song, I'm gonna interp interpret it the way that I do. When you're on stage doing comedy, we're gonna interpret, interpret those things the way we do. But listening to you talk and when I heard, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going back and forth with you. Mm -hmm. That truly seems like the way you live your life. And so when you get to express yourself like that, but the entire world feels it and it catches on, how exciting is that for you to, again, be it's affected just God so many people? Me as, a, as an example, it's like, all right, you say you're living your best life, we finna see it. Hit this with a car. <laughs> and I'm sure you, that's, and that's how it is. That's what my life is, an example. That's why I say I, people follow. After a time, you start seeing, he been saying this shit, he been saying this, and he keep going through shit and still living. He's still enjoying it. He ain't letting nothing knock him. So it's, it's, my proof is in my pudding. I don't like to keep talking. Shit, we just talk in circles, but I can show you. That's why it's not arrogance. It's just, it's just like, all right, I'm going to keep saying it, but I can keep showing you. You know what I'm saying? It, it comes off as arrogance, but I can just show you. It's just like you in football. You in football. It's like you know what you can do. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to be arrogant. It's just like, all right, I can show you. Like, I might talk shit to y'all, you, because I know you know me and you ain't going to be offended by it, you know what I'm saying? But to the world, I ain't going to talk to you. I'm just going to be like, all right. And then that comes off as arrogance sometimes, I guess. Well, I don't think that. I mean, I think people's opinions aren't our, that's not what we should be focused People's on anyway. parents, uh, opinions yeah. are their insecurities a lot. So yep. you can't take it personal. I agree with that. I agree with that totally. I got totally. a lot of tweets. I'm getting a lot of tweets out these days. I could tweet all that. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> when, you, when you look at, like, to me, I'm, I'm talking to you and... I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's next, right? You, 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 you're, from, you're from Duval, you come to Atlanta, you wanna start this career and you do all of these things and now it has so many branches to the tree. At some point it has to be, okay, this is where I wanna be. This I is am where I, I wanna want be. be. I am doing what I'm doing. Every day I wake up and do what the f I wanna do, how I wanna do it, in entertainment, in life, everything. That's everybody's goal, ain't it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't do shit cause I'm bored, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know how athletes, athletes, y'all around them all the time. Athletes, they, they used to doing this so much since y'all was kids, then it stopped and you ain't got nothing to do because you ain't happy with your life. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand. You look for happiness outside of it, but I've always had it inside of me. You know, maybe it's arrogance, I don't know, but I've all, and that's why I, I, I give props to my village. They never, even when I hear about molestation and shit in life, I never saw that. 
So I was kind of naive to that because my village made sure I didn't have to see it. It wasn't me, it was my village, you know? And, but you talk about the athlete side of it, so let me know if, if, if this is the athlete speaking in me, but everybody got a goal. Like somebody got to go to be a Hall of Famer when you start playing ball. Uh-huh. To, you know, when working, a financial goal, I need to get 10 million, I need to get 40 million, 100 million, whatever that is. You don't have a goal in your career? My goal is just to keep instilling me in everybody. But the finish line. That is the finish line. The finish line is till I stop. Like I keep doing it and it keeps changing. My, they done told me, I done, they done told me I, I done made it seven times in my career. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And it's like you say, everybody don't know me. Even the people in China, they might, I might change their world later on down the line. This is just where I'm at in this life. We we don't realize like I'm 45, I'll be 46 this year, but shit, it's still like 40 more years. I'm I'm little too, so I'm be living a long time. So <laughs> so shit. I got a long time. Y'all in this race, y'all big in this little ass race. <laughs> Us little we got a lot of time. I'm in a yeah. different race than y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be the 80-year-old yoga. You know what I'm saying? It's like telling y'all, that's why you want to be nice to a like me, because I'm going to be telling y'all stories. You're going to be around. Because I'm going to be around. He be like, I went up, hey, I remember 40 years ago. <laughs> like, them on this show shit. called Opinion. <laughs> but, so your advantage as a smaller human is you going to And I heal quick. Look at me. Well, you was limping your ass out walking in. I was limping. Fi- I got hit by a car. <laughs> I, I didn't get hit in a car. I got none, hit by a car. None of us said it was wrong. You just tried to lie. No, I just say I got better. I, you can't tell. You said we just stay up and think. Hold on. You got to post up. You just got to yeah. post up. That's all. Man, I'm chilling, man. I well, got it good. If you waddle side and to I side. And I ain't use no, no, no drugs like that. Well, I did at the beginning because that shit was hurting. Yeah. But after, I ain't use no. I've been doing this shit straight raw. Yeah, you know, oh, that's a good transition. Gotta, look, look, that's a, be careful. That's a good. That's a good. That that's a good transition for me. What? Because your advantage is living longer. Mm-hmm. But you always talk about throwing, throwing dick and yeah. dick dash. Boy, and that all shit that. scared me when this accident, bro. Because I my dick wasn't getting hard. Like they put, man, I was nervous, boy. I I thought it was over. I didn't realize how much a man is in his dick. Until then, I was like, shit, I can't even sing these songs no more. Like I can't. It just wasn't. Huh? You want him yourself? You didn't feel worth it? No, dog. What happened was they put that catheter in my dick, dog. Mm. That is, the, I wouldn't wish that. On, well, I probably wish it on my enemy, but I, dog, the shit, your dick come looking out like a ball, dog. I ain't, I don't know. I had it. I, I get it. You get it? Yeah. I See, he feel me, dog. Like the shit. It's a terrible, terrible time. Bro. It's just a little pipe. They just run it a little pipe. Like no, no, it ain't like that, dog. That, that hole ain't made for that, though. Chance. I didn't even realize they did it till I went to pee. Dog, you pe- dog. That was the first out of all that shit. The first time I cried through that whole accident. <laughs> dog, it was. And then I looked at my dick and I called the the doctor. Like the doctors in there, my telling them, and they looking the the you know they got them University of Miami doctors, them hurricane doctors, right? So they pull in and I'm just looking at it like, what's wrong? Like, look at my dick. This ain't normal. Like, it, it just and they like it, I don't. Then I had to call Jay Ski because Jay Ski got shot before, so he done had it before, and I was like. He he calmed me down. He told me it'd be about two weeks for my dick get back regular. But but so you you find a lot of pride, <laughs> a lot of pride in your in your yeah. in your dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Stupid, but yo. no, like, it's the truth though, man. Shit, really. But I asked the same way I asked Kevin Hart. You you tiny dudes, y'all ain't really capable of doing everything sexual with your size. Ask any ask any woman about looks. They little. We stay slanging dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like we for, do. For like the and smaller... I'm not gonna prove it to you, right? <laughs> I know what type of town you be on. Nope. We even have a fucking contest. <laughs> nope. But, no it's, can do. but it's like varsity it's JV. See, I see you trying to slip it on in yeah, there. It's it's like, like, no, it's we like, ain't. It's like pro no, semi pro. Nope, 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 nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> I think he's talking more so about the, the movement of the human. Not yeah. necessarily like The you... movement of the human. I'm a little. I don't so get you, tired. But say, like, you can't pick folks up. Yes. Like, you can't move them around. I don't need to pick these hoes. I mean, I don't need to pick. <laughs> <laughs> you got to You got to do that. You got to do that. No, you can't just lay up on somebody missionary all day. No, uh, breathe I'm telling hard. you, I don't have to lay missionary. Man, you, you're trying to put yourself. You're thinking of me as fucking. No, I don't want that. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to put your, you're trying to picture me fucking. That, that don't like that. <laughs> you sent out a picture no. of little Kermit the Frog no, on top I of the pig. I don't want to see that. Nope. No. Yeah. 
You got a name for the tour? You're going to tour soon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just started my tour. It's called Back on My Feet Tour, you know. So I'm back on my feet, so we just getting back on the road. Like, I ain't been working since this happened, so I'm getting back on my feet, getting back on that road, and just getting back to it, you know. It, it ain't nothing stop nothing. It just put me on the... Put me on the um, injured reserve for about five months. Can can we expect to hear or, or what parts of? Because obviously art imitates life, and you've been through something. Like you said earlier, you speaking to people who've gone through something. How do you want to get some of the 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 messages about the adversity you just came through through in your comedy or through in your show? The same way I'm trying to get it out in life with everybody. It's just. I'm a living testimony that it's a mind thing. Like, especially, like you say, rehab and all that. I learned if your mind, you got to get your mind right. Once you get your mind right, everything else will follow if it can. You know what I'm saying? So the doctors did what they had to do. You know what I'm saying? I took my time. I ain't try to rush it. I'm glad I didn't, because if I would listen to Kev, I'd have been f***ed up. <laughs> Kevin Hart, you know this mother. What, why you ain't know? You need another trainer. I'm like, no, I don't. I can't walk. I got hit by a car. <laughs> Like, shit. And I'm glad I didn't, because I, I saw Tony Hawk, he had the same shit happen to him. He had to go back to surgery, because he jumped out there too quick. Wow. So I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I took my time. I think God made my arms not work, so I couldn't use them to start walking more. Wow. So I ain't had no choice but to heal how I needed to heal. You, you had to be helpless at some point. That's another thing, oh, too. That's, yeah. that's one thing I did. The only thing I hated about the whole thing, I needed people. I never needed nobody in my life. That there made me real, I had to get, I had to have some, somebody help me pee shit, you know, all the littlest things. Like, I couldn't even open a water bottle. Like, it was just little shit. And that, that just made me, but like I said, it, 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 it reflection of how I am to other people because I didn't realize how much people loved me neither. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I never relied on the love of people like that because I always got my love from God and the people that I knew that was gonna be there, they was there. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't rely on love from the industry or other people. I got a lot of love from people. So I, so that there, that was a reflection of that. You, you know had a, saying? you had a tweet that said, um, you couldn't sleep, but you said I didn't sleep a lot before this. Yeah. But the problem is I can't move, and I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. When you are sitting there, and like you said, you needed a lot of help, and you can't sleep. What are your thoughts then? Are you thinking? about what you're gonna do once you're healthy? Or are you thinking, I'm gonna be in this place forever? Like, how did you deal with those moments, those quiet moments by yourself? Well, when I was by myself, I kept just thinking about exercise. <laughs> that's all I kept doing. I'd be in the bed doing this. Like, that's, that's the only thing you can't, well, for me, it's just, as soon as I got hit by the car, I just went in tunnel vision. I just started thinking about life and everything. It's like, all right, shit, that's it. I guess I won't be telling jokes no more. I won't be singing that song no more. How much money I got left? Can I live off this? You just start thinking about all that type of shit. And then, and then, you, just, and then you just start thinking like, shit, I can beat this shit. This, I'm, I, the next thing I thought, you got to think now I'm just going, because this is my first time actually talking about it. So I'm really just really reliving the shit. So once I realized my leg was, I could feel my leg, I was like, oh, I ain't paralyzed. Mm. Oh, I can just limp on stage. I, it's, everything just started going right then. So I just, right then and there, that's when I started healing. You talk about your old lady a lot. Mm -hmm. And for, for people on social media who follow you, they never see her. Mm -hmm. It's like Tommy got a job, <laughs> you know, or, or the gooch on yeah, different yeah, strokes. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. never see her. But your, your immediate people and you know she's around. Yeah, yeah. When you were down with the injuries. She uh, held me down. And she held you down. How vulnerable. Did it make you? It made me weak as hell because I didn't want to do it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd be, I used to in the middle of the night just sneak and walk off while she was sleeping and she'd get up and make me get back down and shit like that. But it just made me need people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't know how to need people. So it kind of made me need people, made me uh, open up to, cause like if somebody asks me, am I good? I'm be like, yeah. Right. And most of the time I am good. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep saying that over time, you kind of knock your blessings too because they ain't even thinking about you no more. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was like that. So I guess I kind of learned to, because I even if you ask me now, I'm going to still say I'm good, but I might ask afterwards, say, why, what's up? <laughs> that's what I might do now, so. How does Roland Powell from Duval, who is- It's the same now, pretty much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, how does he ever though, in, in, in that moment or those moments growing up where you're saying I was always popular or I was always popping, 
How do you envision getting here? How do you put that plan in place? I saw this when I was 13 years old. I'm right where I was. You can look, and like I said, I got I got blue. I mean, receipts for all this shit. Cause even my senior book, I put in there. You know, they say where you see yourself. I was like entertaining the world, making people laugh. And I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. And I ain't asked for no money, none of that shit. I just do what I was. Gonna, I knew what I was gonna be early. Really? I just kind of even before this shit was popular. It's popular now. It's normal to say you. But when I came up, the only things you could do now, I mean, then was be in sports. Because these was in it. You know what I'm saying? Like people like that. It was Florida was known for football. You know what I'm saying? So that was the only thing you could do. And look at me. I went from the, I tried playing football, but I got hit so hard. I just joined the band. But <laughs> at, but after that, I get, it was nothing else. So saying you was uh, want to be a comedian or a rapper or something, that was like seeing an astronaut back then. Right. It sounds nothing now, but back then, even like the internet, back then when I used to tell people this the way it was far fetched. Like now it's like second nature, but it was far fetched. But I just always God put something in me. Like I'm I'm I don't even like to use my advice because I think mine a little different, you know. And, and and with that, you know, being in the band, you know, doing the talent shows, you know, all that different stuff, was your biggest pivot in life leaving your your beloved hometown? and coming up to Atlanta, where you can kind of really be more exposed to the entertainment industry, music, you know, the music team I kind of just knew bumping. I had to leave Jacksonville. Because right. I cause I was really in the streets. Like, I wasn't the streets, but I was just in it just by guilty by association. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, I just knew I had to get out of there or I end up like everybody else in there. And everybody that I, that I came up with, they end up falling succumb to it just from being in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even got to be a a person, but if you round it so much, you just, but I always knew then that I had to be out of it. And the thing that saved me, like, I used to go home to Jacksonville, but I always went back home to Atlanta. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So while they were still still home, you get caught up and shit. And I got a certain line of questioning that I like to get into, as you've seen. And uh, Fred <laughs> brought up your old lady. I, I want you to teach me now. This is how, this is how I pose the question. Okay. <laughs> open relationship is something you speak about. I don't speak about open relationships. Is that open on both sides? That's why I knew you was going to come. Is that open on both sides? So, My girl just gay as f She liked her. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I got a road dog. She's my wingman. She liked her probably more than I like No, uh, But we in competition. <laughs> but at yeah. the same time, she just liked it. I ain't, she don't, I'm the only dick she like. It's saying. I do threesomes, not swing. <laughs> okay, so you're yeah. not a swing. That's a big difference. No, it's a big it's very difference. Big, That's a big difference. Yeah. yeah, we don't do no But threesomes. a lot of people be thinking I'm, because they, I guess because it's swing, it's like, no, I'm the only dick in the room. Like, I ain't, I don't do that. So really, See, that's going to mess up. We wasn't going to touch, but I was going to try to set up like a, maybe like a sexual squid games with us. Cause you, the competition, like you think you good. I think I'm good, and you good. Nothing. But Chan, he gonna so, have like, two. You only gonna have one. Survivor. Or something. And sometimes the girl help you out when you nut quick. You know what I'm saying? Like go ahead and finish it off. So it ain't just because I'm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna make it on air. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna try to edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your fault though. I need to know. Because There's some questions I need. You've you asked him enough questions and you've challenged him. He's been trying to get there so long. Go ahead. Exactly. So now he got to tell you, he got to show you that, nah, he can handle two at that size. They probably tossing him around too. Yeah. <laughs> Double team. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to see. They run a train it. on him. I'm you a visual. trying to see him. I'm a visual. Pose. I'm a visual. Learner. No, don't visual me. <laughs> I'm probably butt naked over here on the, looking, just looking at me. <laughs> you been exposed? Yeah. This Got me butt x ray through my clothes and shit. You got your leg crossed. Cause I don't know what type of time you on, man. <laughs> but nah, man, for, for real, I think it's been super cool to just see how multifaceted uh, you are. But listening to you. I ain't multifaceted, I'm just Duval. I ain't the smartest, I ain't smart in none of this shit. I just, I think I just got understanding, bro. I, I, don't, I don't like people to put me up there because then I got to live up to. I'm just me, you know? Yeah, I'm not saying you're special. Oh. Uh, no, what you say that. What you just said. Multifaceted, which means mean, right, right. You sing. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You do comedy, mm-hmm. exactly, mm-hmm. right? And in doing that, you run a business mm-hmm. or you run businesses. And the other part of it is too, you're talking about touching communities. Mm-hmm. And you're talking about the fact that the things that you do affect other people. Mm-hmm. That's another facet. The ability the ability to lead and to resonate, bro. And I, I get it that you, you're thinking about not living up to something, but you're already living it. I've already lived up to everything that I was supposed to do. Now I'm just, this, everything else is a bonus to me. Mm-hmm. Even with helping other people. Like now, I, like I get a kick out of seeing everybody else win. Right. Especially my people's like or uh, seeing my friends or uh, people I've seen come up. I love it. So that's why in the older you get, the more you want to see other people or see your like your kids. I don't know if y'all got older kids I now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The older you see them, like my daughter, she's 15 now. So now I'm just like, all right, I, I'm, I won't be cool to I'll be like, all right, she can take care of herself. You know what I'm saying? So like now I just want to instill what because and I hate preaching to the pr- choir because that's what we're doing on here, because there are millions of people singing, because everybody's different. So with certain people, I like to give them what they need instead of just giving the world. So when I talk to the world, I pretty much just talk about just life shit instead of trying to give advice with how to do this and that. Correct me, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I, I could be, but you speak a lot about not throwing money at charities and not throwing money in the community, but actually giving your time and trying to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. Can you speak a little bit to that and why you think that time is so important? Because who we are may change more lives than our money. Like, I mean, what made you what you want to be is wasn't nobody giving you money. It was what you saw. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's, it's inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Inspiration makes, like I say, Duval, when you see, when somebody, when I'm on Comic View 20 years ago and a kid sees somebody, they say, Duval. You from Jacksonville, you're like, oh shit, I know him. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, he know me. So it gives you familiarity and makes you want to inspire them, you know? So it's the same thing. Do all day. We invited? You always invited, bro. You know you invited, man. You even been there, ain't <laughs> You ain't yet. never came I have, I have, The time You let been EJ off. come before you, bro. The timing been off. The, the timing <laughs> yeah. has been off. Now, but that's another thing I do. It. I, I've been doing that shit for about five, six years. And I don't, it's, it comes straight out my pocket. I don't ask for nobody for nothing. I mean, and it's got big and big, and I just do it just for the inspiration. You know what I'm saying? I don't, like I say, stuff like that changed lives. Even like you've been again, you've been in, you've been in, y'all been in this shit for a long time. Y'all probably help people out yeah. at the football thing. And you see them grown now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see them growing. You see what you done made a difference in their life, and it wasn't even about the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just what you did or what you. That's that's all life is a butterfly effect. Just like some, even like if, if you're at the fast food restaurant, all right, I pay for that. That makes that next person like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's all I do in life and everything. I just do it to a bigger scale. Pretty the big I get. You wanna uh, become the florist and give him his flowers? You know what? I always do. I always do, yeah. man. Hey, but, what are we doing? Man? You know, no, no, no. no this is seriously. part of what we do, man. No, no. I just, uh, I, I really man just. From um, man. I want to. <laughs> go. I do want to say I appreciate it. Yeah. We do appreciate you coming on, bro. We've been trying to make it happen for a while. Obviously, I've always, uh, you know, admired you from from afar. Yeah. Even though we didn't cross paths as often. Yeah. Uh, back in Javel, I was doing my thing. You end up moving. Yeah. Uh, to the A, and you would get in and out of the city, but. Uh, you made the city proud, bro. Like yeah. a thousand percent. Even myself, been a fan, will always be a fan. I know these dudes are too. Um, I'm gonna show up, do all day. That's, <laughs> that's a bet. I do have one question, Freddie T. We gonna kick the Steelers' ass next year. Not that's that, the only no, thing. Not that. I'm not. See, wow. Are you a Steelers fan, awesome. like like Snoop? It's a difference. I'm a Steeler. Oh my bad, my bad. Yeah, it's a difference. You play now? No. Then you're not a Steeler. No. I got a ring. Uh, when, uh, I got you, I've been yeah, to more Super yeah. Bowls. I've been to more Super Bowls by oh, myself than Jacksonville. <laughs> so? I was we about just to ask came out in 95. I was about to ask y'all a good we question. We just came out. Y'all was the first team I ever. Was, the first. We was not the first team ever. <laughs> first or second. Y'all was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first. I was trying to ask y'all a good question. Go ahead, ask And he go, started. Because you started. Go in them tight, yeah. them slick jeans, though. <laughs> I think I was... You, you can't buy slack, jeans. Slack jeans. Little... Slack jeans. You ever <laughs> seen slack jeans? If you don't go shop at Builder Bear. Slack jeans. Hey. You anyway. one step with Builder Bear. You ain't no bigger than me, bro. I'm way bigger. You're a hundred <laughs> more pounds bigger than me. That's still the same size. <laughs> Who, which one of y'all gets on stage if Jacksonville wins the Super Bowl? I get on. I'm going regardless. They're going to treat you like Kevin Hart. Nah, I'm going. I'm getting up there. But no, to answer your question, I, I, I'm not getting on stage. <laughs> nah, I, not, I ain't not even afraid. Not unless they invite me. <laughs> 
to do, do a speech, like to do the trophy, like I was prepared a couple years ago. When they I'm getting on that packs. goddamn stage. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't going. Ain't nobody. Who going? And, oh damn, it ain't in Jacksonville. Shit. Yeah. Did you did you cheer? Have you always been a Jacksonville fan, even from when day they were one. terrible? From day one, I've always been. What I mean, shit. Well, we are, we we that? still young, bro. Yeah. They were we really still? good when you played, Fred. Why you gotta say terrible though? Why can't you just say when they had down? Was you on that? Year? Was you on the team when we when we when y'all won every game except the one against Tennessee? Don't remind me, bro. That was the worst. That's yeah. why this shit was so good. This this year we beat Tennessee. Like yeah. we 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 can't beat Tennessee for shit. We couldn't like no matter what we couldn't beat. Tennessee. That was '99 when the Super Bowl was in Atlanta. Was yeah, there. man, we were was supposed there. to be in the Super Bowl that year. Yep, we yep. would have went. Only people from Jacksonville remember that, but. Shit. That's how you know y'all weren't supposed to be in it. Nah, we were supposed to be in the Super Bowl, <laughs> bro. Don't do that. We were having a good time. Don't, I thought we was having a great time until y'all started talking I, about I, the I already got you in, like, when I get old, I was going to talk highly of you. You're changing that slowly but surely. It's don't cool. I think that. that's how you express your love anyway. So what? I'm good. No, I'm not going to. If you keep hating on the Jaguars, bro. That's crazy. You know what? That's what's happening to the Like, world. how do you hate on the Jaguars? Like, we, I'm not we hating. ain't got nothing to lose. We done came from nothing. What's weird is, though, that y'all think truth is hating. Like, I don't understand that. What's the truth? That y'all are not a great organization. Who better? St- Everybody. Who? Steelers. Cowboys ain't better. Yes, they are. Got, they got all that goddamn money and still ain't Super Bowl champions yet. They ain't been Super Bowl since the Jaguars got in the, in the goddamn league. That's, that's, that is absolutely true. Okay. The Jaguars also okay. haven't been to the Super Bowl since the Jaguars got in the league. We're still trying to get our life together, bro. <laughs> like, we, 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 we growing through our teenage years. What were we, 25? Like, yeah, we still coming. growing up. It's coming. We coming, bro. We've been close. It's we coming. coming. Yeah, my bad. Bro. We coming. I, I, why you turn toward me? Got Shannon, got one looking at shine. you naked. Oh, no. Nah, oh, yeah. Let he me just finish giving you your flowers, brother. <laughs> and we're going we gonna to wrap this up. Yeah, let's but wrap no, it up. Man, we love I got to smoke with Jay. Love everything you're doing, bro. Keep it up. I appreciate y'all, too. man. I, I hell, salute y'all for doing y'all shit, man. I'm trying. surprised he even doing some shit like this. Because this yeah. is quiet as hell. Yeah, like, how this thing getting in the podcast? It's popping, popping. Like, it's <laughs> popping, popping. Just quiet as hell. Y'all do all the talking. He just... Mm-hmm. Be chilling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's real shit, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, and what he said was like how he was saying, <laughs> and to add on what he said, hey, hey, he's hey. the sex symbol of the show. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do he's that. He's the they sex might, symbol. He got the voice when he does. I saw y'all. What's, what show y'all was on um, during the holidays? Uh, uh, first take. First take. I, was, I saw y'all was like, yeah, it's going down. He was still like, yeah, and I agree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's real shit. <laughs> nah, that's real talk though. I, and from what he said, he played football. Yeah. <laughs> Jaguars going. <laughs> Not really though. You going they gonna ask me to give them that percentage back. Oh, oh, buy me out now. Oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. Hey, my bad, my right. bad, bro. So we my good. Bad, we good. Bad. This <laughs> be talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> you need my boy. Oh boy. But appreciate yeah. you though. I appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> appreciate you, dog. All love, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hold up. Limitless. Take a stomach cap pin in it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, got me up. Uh, on the mission, got me up. Uh, knowing me, I got the key. Uh, on the vision, I can trust. Uh, trust. Uh, limitless. Take a stomach cap pin in it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, got me up.